Hey everybody, it's the sheriff here. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Whoa. What are you doing? I'm the sheriff. Give it to me, Jack. Come on. Give it to me. Give my damn mask. Give it to old sheriff here. Because you ain't got this tattoo. <laughs> damn. Oh man, sorry about that guys. Everybody wants to be the shake nowadays. Don't worry, it's all right. I know I'm your role model and you idolize me and worship me. Great, bro. But I'm merely a servant. Here's our next video, baby. Hey motherfuckers, it's the Shape here. Uh, I'm gonna get this uh, video started off well. I found a channel that's got this girl on it. She's like a female version of this guy right here. And she's starting off with, I know you've heard of Sam and Kobe, the Explorers, and thank God I'm not watching a Jake Paul video. Shoot, or a Logan Paul for that matter. Currently, we are in the process of playing the Midnight Man, and I'm gonna let you explain it, because I really don't know what the word is. We gotta keep moving. Show you how they do it. <laughs> that was horrible, I'm sorry. Before we start, just wanna show you this really quick. Um, it is 2.50 a.m. Okay, so if you watch a lot of Colby Brock and like Sam kind of videos, they always show you the lock screen time. We all know this. It can change the time very easily on your phone. Yes, any idiot can change it from fucking 12 noon to 3 a.m. It don't take a rocket scientist, so uh, anybody believes, uh, you know, oh, it's 3 o'clock or 3.17, you can change it just like that right there. The girl's right, obviously. This girl knows what she's talking about. Bam! It could be seven o'clock, as far as we know. I'm just saying. The ghost out. <laughs> Two games at once, so why are we doing this? Hey Siri. Hello. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah. You gotta press the button. How are you doing? Okay. So just then, you saw the front of his, like you saw his phone screen, and it was obviously the normal Siri. And that's why the texts aren't scary yet. So I'll, I'll get back to that when, when it comes. You sound so weird. What the heck? Yeah, you. I thought so. What? Should I talk to you at 3 a.m.? I'm sure I don't know. So they're pretty normal answers from Siri, because Siri can be pretty random. Oh, Siri, I got a Siri. Hey Siri, what time is it? Okay, so this is obviously when they start using the app. And here's my reasons why. Every time Colby uses this app, he does not show the camera at the front of his screen. When you use normal Siri, it looks like this. So there's obviously not much light coming from your phone screen right where the app looks like this. What? She's right. Sam and Kobe, they use this, uh, they use this app that sounds like Siri, but it, you can type in whatever you want it to say, but the screen is totally different, and you can tell they're using the brighter screen, and, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. Matter of fact, it, it I mean, you, some, I, I like Sam and Kobe though. I think they make good videos, but the girl is right, obviously. Should I be t okay. so? So this is when they start using the app at 6:36 in the video. 
Maybe it would be different if it's at 3 a.m. Am I talking to a haunted Siri? He's holding his phone up so the audience cannot see. I need to put my laptop on the charger. But yeah, he's holding his phone up so us viewers can't see what's on his screen. Don't talk to me. And then it says something creepy. Yeah. Uh... Let's reveal how they do this. I'm sure you guys all know what's coming. It's an app on the phone. All I did to find this app is fake Siri and it came up. If you listen to it, it's it's a little bit different to the original Siri. So let's start with a simple no. So I type in no in this little app. It's called Speak For Me. No. So if I say, hey Siri, should I be playing the Midnight Man game? No. And well, ain't that special? <laughs> and she says, no. No. Okay. Should we be playing the Midnight Man? I don't understand. Siri should be. Okay. And then just then, he showed the screen and it was the dark again. And. She said something not scary. I don't know. I'm not sure. Siri, what's been happening in our house? <clears throat> Siri, what's happening in our house? Look behind you. Happens. <laughs> Fake reaction. <laughs> Why should we not play the Midnight Man? He will never leave. He will never leave. He will never leave. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I meant with the white light. Look at his finger. If he was using the normal Siri, it'd be dark. And it's like all over his chest, like it's white, a white. This girl would make a hell of an investigator when she grows up, I'm telling you. I mean, everything she says is absolutely right. Sam and Kobe do fake content. I mean, it's, it's obvious. I mean, I know people don't want to hear it, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for it, but you know what? I really don't give a flying fuck. Now you see the disappointment in her face. I mean, her favorite YouTubers. Uh, she finds out, spots something that's fake when they claim it's real, or any YouTuber for that matter. Uh, kids like that, as young as she is and younger. It destroys them, but nobody gets that part of it. Y'all gonna have to start learning. Hey guys, I'm Sergi. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm giving you guys a really cool haunted adventure. Now, no way was I, you know, insulting Sam and Kobe. I like the videos. I think they're helping explorers, but I'm just saying, you know, people stretch the truth, and that girl was right about that video, that certain video. Now, some of my older other stuff might be real for all I know. But this next guy, Mo Sarge, that I've talked about before, well, live a little. Take that V, take the V out, throw it away. What do you have left? Huh? Can't hear you. Exactly. Lie a little. Maybe he worked here. And maybe he. Oh. Oh. That just got knocked out of my hand. You weren't filming? You weren't recording that? Now, in a perfect world, um, he said it got knocked out of his hand. But, did you see it get knocked out of his hand? They had two cameras there, and it gets. Thrown right in front of the camera though, right in his point of vision. That EMF thing. But the other guy, oh my camera wasn't on. Or I'd have recorded it being thrown. It wasn't on because it was a you know, basically shot them over go whoop like a damn horseshoe. So yeah. Although I'm every time I get closer to this area, I feel angrier and angrier. I just really hope there's nothing trying to to get. I really hope there's nothing trying to get in me. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit of what I like to call 
foreshadowing. Uh, it's when somebody tells you something that's going to happen in the future. In short words, Moe's going to get possessed and it, there's going to be a bloodbath of epic proportions. I'm so scared. I'm just playing. I'm, I'm going first. I'm, I'm in shock right now and I'm, and I'm getting angrier and angrier. The way this thing was just moving, we were, keep in mind, we were all the way, all the way at the end of that hallway. That, my friends, is what I like to call vandalism. When you go into an old place and you're a true explorer, you don't post to punch the walls because that puts dents in the sheetrock. I know a little bit about that. And you, that's no different spray painting a wall or anything else. And Mo sitting there, and this is going to be a reoccurring theme throughout this whole video of Mo hitting the wall. You're not being yourself right now, dude. What the f is, is that coming from the piano? <gasps> dude, that's coming from the piano. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, if you're possessed by something, why would you be scared of the piano if you're possessed by the person making it do shit? Duh! That noise is literally coming from the piano. Um. I'm honestly starting to regret bringing you here. I didn't. I just reviewed my footage of apparently me hitting my wall. I just reviewed my your footage. Wall? Huh? What do you mean your wall? What do you mean? You just said your wall. Yeah, my wall. I just reviewed the footage on the camera. I hit my wall over here. This explains why my hand is hurting me right now. But I don't remember hitting the wall. I literally don't remember hitting the wall. Why are you in my warehouse? What is this area? Is this a classroom? I don't know. Maybe this is where they All right, now why would he go from saying my wall and then all of a sudden say the wall? Did you catch that? Which means uh, he's making himself say my wall, first off. Second off, that wasn't the whole building shaking. That was him shaking the camera. I mean, even people in movies that make earthquake movies, sometimes they'll shake the camera to make it look like the building's shaking. I mean, I just... Huh. It's making a bit of noise. Bro! Give me my camera back. Chill! 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 When you go into abandoned places, here he is kicking things and throwing things everywhere. When you go into abandoned places, you shouldn't do that. That's not right. Them places are for people to have fun exploring and the next generation to have fun exploring. That's not right. It, should, it shouldn't be allowed. That's vandalism. And guys, oh wait a minute. Hey Siri, are there ghosts in this building? Fuck you! Huh. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Uh, I want to thank all my new subs. I mean, I didn't ever thought a dude in a hockey mask that is an idiot would actually even get a subscriber. But, I mean, my views are going way the hell up. And it's all thanks to you guys. I thank all my subs and even the ones that dislike me. You know... I, I don't hate Mo, 
but you know it when you vandalize a place it, you know for yourself it's not right and i love sam and kobe them guys are great i love you know they're hell of explorers but anyway this is the shape and i would like for you to hit that thumbs up i would like for you to sub share this video with every son of a you know peace out